So this is page 423, number 14, x minus y is less than 3, and x plus y is greater than or equal to 4. What we're doing in this section is solving each system by graphing, okay? This is a system of inequalities. Earlier in chapter 8, we had a system of equalities, which means we had an equal sign. Now we have the same idea, but now we have inequalities, which means we're going to graph them in the same way we did with equalities. But in this case, with inequalities, we're going to have to shade one way or the other, right or left. All right, so what do we do to graph the first equation? X minus Y is less than 3. How do we graph it? When we think graphing, what equation do we think of? Tina? Y equals MX plus B. Good, so we draw an arrow, a double arrow, and we rewrite that as negative Y is less than negative X plus 3. Negative Y is less than negative X plus 3. What did I do there? I just subtracted X on both sides. Now I have to divide by negative 1. I'll do it in a different color. Right? I still need this. Don't worry, we'll do that down below. And then do a double arrow, and we'll go ahead and get. Now we're going to. We, why did we divide it by negative 1? Because we can't have a negative sign in the front. So we have y is greater than, y is greater than x minus 3. Now hold on a second, you say. Why did he switch the sign from less than to greater than? Because you divided by a negative number. We could number. divide it by a negative number, right? You've learned that, just don't forget it. That's the main thing. You've learned it, you know it, but you keep forgetting it, but please don't forget it. It's when you divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, you switch the inequality sign. Now that we've done this, okay, we're done with that for now. We can actually look at that and tell what the slope is. What is our slope now from there? One. M equals one. X. Go ahead, and M equals one. And B, our y-intercept equals Negative what? Three. Negative three. Negative three. Okay, um, just wanted to make sure it was in blue. So look, we followed it through. We went ahead and switched it over into a y, y equals mx plus b format. We found our slope and our y-intercept, and we can go to our graph, but we will wait one minute till we get it here. So what do we do in this one? What's our first step in terms of getting this into the y equals mx plus b format? <laughs> we will... What's our first step? Subtract x from both sides. Subtract x from both sides. You want to do it in blue? So go ahead and do that, guys, yourselves. Go ahead and do it yourself. So we've gone ahead and subtracted x from both sides, and we end up with y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 4. We didn't switch the sign there because we didn't divide or multiply by a negative number. And then we know what m is, and we know what b is. m equals what? Go ahead, Glenn, and write m equals negative 1, and b equals 4. Is there anybody who doesn't know why m equals negative 1? Did you learn that? Okay, and why b equals 4 here? Is there anybody who doesn't, who's not sure about it? Because this is the time to clear it up. Now we use that information. We draw a graph now. Everybody draw a graph. So first of all, uh, Glenn has gone ahead and graphed this one. The y-intercept is 4, which means 1, 2, 3, 4. At the point 0, 4, right? I mean, the other way to look at it is this is the point 0, 4. In other words, right there. And this is the y-intercept. And once we have a point, we can use our slope, which is rise over run, to find the other point by going down one over one. Why down? Because it's negative one. Rise over run. If we were to put it like this, our rise is down one over one. And we draw a line. All we need to draw a line is two points. Based on that, we can draw our other line because we have the y-intercept at negative three, okay, at zero, negative three. And the slope one, up one over one, and go ahead, Glenn, and draw that line. Do it in green, in another color, so that people can see the difference, right? And then another very important thing with all this is that you need to label your graphs. So, because we don't know exactly which one is which. So on this green line graph, this is, because this is the y-intercept of negative three, our line here is y is greater than x minus 3. And because this doesn't have a little equal sign here, it means that we shade it, we, we keep it as a dotted line because we're not going to have that included in the shading. In other words, the solutions are not on the line. Now, as far as this one goes, this is the y-intercept 4, so it's this, uh, this inequality. y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 4 is the blue line. And now it is a solid line because we have it greater than or equal to. We include the line. The points on this line are included in our solutions. Now, where are our solutions? We have to shade it and we have to test points. We test 0, 0 for y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 4, and we get 0 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 4. 
Zero is greater than or equal to zero plus four. Zero plus four. Is zero plus four. Okay. Or negative zero plus four, but it's the same thing. And put a question mark above that. Because we're asking, is zero greater than four? Is zero greater than four? No. It's not. So this is false. And that means that the point we tested, and let me finish this before you go, that means we do not shade that point. We don't include that point in our solution, and we shade it up. We shade it away from the zero, zero. Shade it up, 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 up. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Now let me finish here, go ahead. Now we test on this one here, we also test zero, zero, and we go ahead and put test zero, zero. We get zero greater than zero minus three, is that true? No. Is zero greater than zero minus three? No. Yeah. Yes, it is, it's true. So we shade this up, right? And our solution is this, this area right here. 